Okay guys, so now we get to start binding to commands. So when we actually click these menu items, we can do things. We can actually accomplish uh, some functionality in our application. So we're going to start off right away if we go to our first menu item, which is new. We're going to access the command property and we're going to bind it. Now, what are we going to bind it to? Well, we want to bind it to our file dot new command. Now, one thing I, I don't want to keep typing file dot command, file dot command for each one. So this is why I will now set the data context binding to file. So in this case, I don't have to worry about doing file dot, file dot, file dot. Uh, now that we change the hierarchy, I can simply do binding new command. So we're going to copy and paste and we're going to do binding uh, new command this is what open so open command again we're going to see all this in IntelliSense uh, save command and save as command and we're going to move on to our format so our format we are going to set the data context binding I believe we have uh, in our is it our editor yep so we're going to set it to our editor let's double check our editor does contain our format which is what we want to change so now we can do command binding and what did we have uh, format um, open was it what did we have what did we have guys let's go back format command see this is why you want good naming conventions that is a bad name and that's why I had to go back and we're going to do command binding and I believe this is where we did a wrap command so now we are bound to our commands here um, our help as well we want to set the data context binding to our uh, where is it binding help and set this command to binding help command. So now we are bound to each of these commands through our XAML. So whenever we uh, click the menu item, it is going to execute our I commands we created. So let's run the application real quick, make sure everything is uh, running smooth. So we got our file and I can hit open and nothing happens and I can hit save as and nothing happens so we gotta figure out why is this the case so why is this the case well we're now bound to our I commands but here if we go to our file we say okay we do have our commands here but we never and we have our methods but we never assigned these to anything they are essentially uh, null so we want to go to our new command equals new relay command and for our new is where I believe what do we call it new file so we'll bind it to our new file we'll have save command equals new relay command save file and our save as command equals a new relay command save save file as method and then we have our open command which we want to equal our new relay command open file so now we actually have our I commands that we are executing bound to a relay command so if we go back here we can hit run and when we go to file and we select new now our open file dialog changes and we can do save as and we can save our application but also notice here I just noticed now actually um, yeah we could also filter this so we can only open up text files but now notice I just opened up a text file and it successfully set our document text after reading it 
And also down here, we have a little indicator of what file we are currently reading from where. So that's really interesting. And uh, we can also save it. And we can save as. Okay, I think you guys get the point. And we also have new, where now if I click this, it goes empty and we no longer have this uh, directory down here because we are working with a new file that does not exist in our directory. So that's really interesting. In this portion, uh, we will go on to another video because we are going to create a new window and uh, we'll be binding now from another window. So this is going to be a, a, a fairly long portion. So we'll break that up into a separate video. So I'll see you guys there.